The Senate has commenced moves to unmask those behind the unwholesome practice of importing hazardous and substandard petroleum products into the country. Chairman of the 15-member ad hoc committee on the alleged economic sabotage in the petroleum industry, Senator Okwemi Bamidele, disclosed this while summoning key actors in Nigeria's petroleum industry for a public hearing starting on the 10th of September. National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adewiye has details. The Nigerian Senate is making strong moves to ensure the highest standards of fuel are consumed in the Nigerian market. This tax will be carried out by the 15-member ad hoc committee set up by the leadership of the Senate to uncover the mysteries and illicit practices in Nigeria's petroleum industry. The committee is particularly interested in why the country's local refineries are not working, despite the substantial amount of money spent annually on general maintenance and operations. It is pertinent to note that in the course of interactions with the identified stakeholders, the ad hoc committee will visit any of their facilities that it deems necessary, especially the state-owned refineries, to ascertain their status considering the huge fund already invested in their various turnaround maintenance year in, year out without any meaningful result. The committee will meet with key actors and stakeholders across Nigeria's petroleum industry to get their views and opinions in a bid to get sustainable solutions. Our investigation seeks to identify and hold accountable all parties involved in the importation and distribution of the adulterated petroleum products, PMS and AGO. This includes suppliers, importers, regulatory bodies, and any other entity. Critical stakeholders that will be holding talks over the matter include the Minister of State for Petroleum, Minister of Finance, Minister of Trade and Investment, NMPCL, CBN, Dangote Group, Nigerian Customs Service, the Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, Modular Refineries, among others. The committee seeks the cooperation of all relevant stakeholders and warns that any resistance will attract stiff penalties. TJ Suadio, TVC News, Abuja.